Well, what started as a follow-up to his now classic horror film, The Evil Dead, Bruce Campbell is back for season two of Ash vs. Evil on Stars. Cult film and television icon Bruce Campbell, he joins me now. Bruce, good morning. I am excited hey, to be chatting you with you. I'm good. You? Hello, Albuquerque. Uh, thank you for saying that. They love you here. Uh, have you been here? I just made a movie. I made a movie last year in Gallup. Oh, excellent. Well, listen, you got to come back through and we'll do a whole half hour special, All Good Things Bruce. I'm there. <laughs> excellent. Bruce, I want to start. Can you actually take us back to day one? You meet Sam Raimi, your good buddy, or this love hate now with your good buddy since he tortures you in all these, you know, uh, television series and films. Uh, can you take yeah. us back to day one? Uh, day one was actually in junior high school. I was walking down the hallway and saw Sam Raimi dressed like Sherlock Holmes playing with dolls. <laughs> and I remember very specifically going, okay, that guy's a weirdo. I'm going way <laughs> around that joker. A couple years later, I dropped typing class because it, it sucked. And then I got into radio speech and Sam was in that class. We started to do morning announcements and then he started to insult me and people mm -hmm. thought that was funny. So he, he just, he went with it. And the insults since that day haven't stopped, have they? He still finds way to poke no, you. No, no, Sam, right? uh, Sam punishes me. Sam thinks that uh, me being punished entertains the audience. Oh. Well, so that, that's what he does. Thankfully, yeah. he's getting older now, so it's, it's harder for him to do it. Good. And Bruce, do you ever think back, you know, from that meeting or working with Sam, what if you two had never met? What career path do you think you would have taken? I would have been a forest ranger. Nice. I like that. I like the great outdoors. Yeah. Albuquerque, you know, New Mexico is a beautiful mm. state. It was great filming there. Beautiful. Excellent. Um, Bruce, I want to know now, okay, over your career, you've done tons of press. You've been to lots of Comic-Con. What's the one question you get all the time and you're like, guys, enough already. I've already answered this question. I'm over it. Is there a question that annoys you? Well, it used to be, will there be another Evil Dead? Oh. And I used to lie for like two decades. I'd go, sure, <laughs> or no, yeah, next week. Well, now, so thankfully, because the show is back on the air, I don't get that anymore. All right. So I'm pretty glad about that. Yeah. I want to turn now, maybe. Now they can watch the show. There you go. They're, they're getting the, their prayers were answered, thankfully, to you, Bruce. Um, can we talk a little social media now? Um, Lucy yeah. Lawless. The buzz on social media is they want her, they want uh, Zena back, but they don't want it to be recast. Oh, yeah. They want Lucy back. So what can we do on social media to get her back? Or can you just tell her, uh, Lucy, you got to do this. Let's bring it back. What do we do? I've talked to Lucy, and you'll have to talk to her yourself <laughs> to get the real word. But I think Lucy's ready to pass the mantle on. <gasps> you know, it's very difficult coming back to play Ash. I played him first when I was 21. Mm -hmm. I'm 58 now. It's a different story. It takes longer to heal. You know, Lucy and I, we get out of our chairs on set. They're ready for you. We go like this, oh, 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 as we stand up, you know. So <laughs> there's a lot of old war wounds there that we have to contend with. So I don't think she's going to jump right back in the, into those, uh, the leather gear. Well, well, she still looks amazing. I think she could just still go put her old, you know, leather gear on. She still looks phenomenal, I'd say. Well, she does that, just not on camera. Oh, okay. You know, but that's her business. Her, that's her downtime in her everyday life after uh, yeah. Ash versus Evil Dead. Okay. Yeah. Bruce, yeah. L let's do this now. Uh, somebody like my sweet little mom who has not watched Ash, Ash versus <laughs> Evil Dead, how would you convince my sweet little mom to watch it? I'm just going to tell her how charming you are. That's going to convince her. But yeah. how would you convince her? Uh, sweet little mom, <laughs> this might not be the show for you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to be straight with you. It's not for everybody. But I would say this to mom. <laughs> if you don't like the carnage, stay for the humor. Okay. Because okay. okay. we have what we call splat stick. <laughs> it's, it's horror, it's the drink of but there's a little comedy thrown in. So maybe Ma will like that part. You can fast forward through the incredibly gross carnage and mayhem. Okay. And you can rewind the funny parts for her. Okay. You know, put a little mixtape together yeah. for her. All right. Last but not least, Bruce. So um, who are you voting for? Uh, there's no way I'm going to tell you that, and here's why. Because Republicans and Dem Democrats both buy my DVDs. Ah, good answer. So I wouldn't want to remove 50% of my clients by saying one stupid thing. <laughs> 
I need to take that to heart and not and say less stupid things uh, in everyday life, Bruce. I'm gonna Don't we all? I'm gonna take that away from our interview. Listen, Bruce Campbell, a pleasure. You've gained a new fan from me and my mom. You've got you. uh, at least two fans, two big fans here in Albuquerque. Thanks. Me and my mom. So thanks so much, guys. Hi, Ash, mom. Watch watch evil. the adventures of Briscoe County Junior, mom. <laughs> Sundays on Stars, Bruce Campbell. Thank you so much. <laughs>